Hello my little pipsqueaks. Well, quite a special vacuum cleaner to open today. A vintage but supposedly unused vacuum. Now in honour of this Hoover vacuum I'm going to be unwrapping, I'm wearing this vintage 1971 Hoover Cycling Team shirt. Now I don't have a cycling body anymore, cyclist body I did have, but it has gone a little bit south. But here it is, look. Hoover. Hoover Gribaldi. So I found out that this was a French cycling team from 1971. And um, Hoover were producing vacuums in France, I believe, in 1971. Probably in their Dijon factory. So folks, this I paid a ridiculous amount of money for, so let's get it open. The same seller who I bought this celebrity from also had an unused USA made constellation in the same sort of orange colour and I was going to go for it but I forgot to place my bid so I didn't win it obviously you can't win it if you're not in it but anyway I'm not too bothered because really it was the celebrity I wanted I don't have a celebrity until now I did have um, and I do have that more or less new a blue and white constellation so I wasn't too upset about not getting the Hoover constellation right now this was a bit odd the way this was delivered it wasn't from a regular courier it was uh, two hipsters I believe that's what they call them these days two hipster fellows with pony not ponytails man buns and beards just dropped it off didn't even have my address on so I don't know what that was all about Anyway, I didn't invite them in for a cup of tea. I did request that uh, the seller packaged it so the tools won't scratch the machine in transit. But I'm not all that impressed with the packaging. It could have gone in another box. That's what I would have done anyway. So here's the original box for the Hoover Celebrity. This is just a Celebrity Air Ride. Now, we'll be able to hopefully date this exactly from the rating sticker on the underside of the cleaner but uh, this is definitely a USA I don't think they ever made them in the UK so it's a model S3005003 the word Hoover and the circular emblem are trademarks of Hoover Limited made in USA Hoover celebrity vacuum cleaner it has steel construction a 10 quart bag blower feature powerful motor and air glide suspension is there anything else to look at no it just repeats it no nope, there we go so this will be a little bit dirty but nothing that some soapy water and cream cleaner won't sort out okay let's carefully remove the hose as long as it's intact you know I'm not bothered so the only other celebrity I've got is that Celebrity Custom, but that one doesn't float on air, does it? That has the wheels. Oh. Just thought there was a split in the hose, but no, fortunately, there isn't a split. It just, it just needs, and I don't think, I mean, it looks like it's discolored, but I think this is the right color. It's not white. It's a sort of a beigey taupe colour, but I don't think that's a result of it fading or ageing. I think that's the colour it should be. Uh, surprisingly though, it's quite short. I'm sure it's all original, but surprisingly no sort of suction control on this. But anyway, that's the hose. Next out comes a much more basic floor tool than supplied with the Celebrity Deluxe or Celebrity Custom. I've also got um, a Hoover Porter Power with this nozzle and USA made Porter Power, but also the early Hoover Porter Powers, um, the UK ones had this sort of nozzle, but they were black or brown. So it says with edged cleaning. So very basic and you've got a rug floor selector. So at the moment, I think it's in the rug position with the brushes raised but you can have it locked into the floor position. So you've got the little brush at the back. 
and I believe you could have it in floating position like this look so you can use it both so again just a little bit dirty but it's not used I'm pretty sure that that's an unused nozzle now this is pretty basic it only it only has uh, two small tools I believe instead of the usual three so instead of an all-purpose sort of nozzle the one that's got the uh, little rubber teeth this one's Hoover I think called this an all-purpose brush so that's in place of an all-purpose nozzle in fact the all-purpose brush replaces the dusting brush I suppose you could use that sort of for dusting but that's your all-purpose nozzle sort of a rubbery finish and it, yeah it swivels and there should be a crevice tool in here here it is again it's just the same crevice tool I did query that there was no pip on uh, the one I had with my other celebrity but that that is correct obviously somebody told me in the comments but obviously it is correct because that hasn't got a pip either just pushes on doesn't actually lock in place so that's the crevice tool next we have bags now I have sourced because I'm not going to use the originals because they're very hard to come by in the UK Ooh, they've stuck together is there just one bag here there should be one bag fitted this is <laughs> it's, it's so big I can't even get it in into all the shop for you this I believe from the advert for the Hoover celebrity which you'll see on my channel is a whole yard long that's a yard long it's nearly about what's well, about a meter maybe just over a meter made in the USA now I found a seller on Amazon they are based in the USA that do genuine bags but they are slightly different to this but they are genuine Hoover ones I've ordered a couple more packets of those I don't want to re really use this original one I've got the bit moth-eaten guarantee card there uh, with the Hoover Perivale address on it there and uh, yeah you've got to fill that up I don't think I'll bother filling that up don't think it'll get to Hoover now and I don't think they're gonna guarantee this to you right instruction book I always like an instruction book a little bit uh, rusty let me just adjust myself there we go I'm upside down I'm not anymore so typical of Hoover USA printed instruction books this now they have put a plug on but originally this wouldn't have had a plug when it was new so there it is cleaner they made the celebrity right up I think I've got a brochure the late latest brochure I found that I have that's still showing the Hoover celebrity is from 1982 or it could be 83 I think it's 82 the suction cleaner brochure 82 or 83 anyway it last appeared as a sort of a budget price machine and then it was slightly different in color I think it had a brown bottom and um, sort of a tan color top and it had all plastic extension ones etc so there we go pretty basic and it's got 1974 on the back here and it's got Hoover's old strap line Hoover make things better for you I've got a tea towel or two with that on uh, they appear on eBay quite a lot well they used to that used to be their um, logo Hoover make things better for you right this will be the telescopic extension wand instead of two individual ones yeah definitely brand new lovely jubbly Ooh. always careful I don't like pulling things out like this oh there we go lovely absolutely fantastic very light brand new it's amazing isn't it I say it's probably 74 this 74 75 that's a song 74 75 by the Connells 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 I don't know there we go is that everything I'm leaving the piece de resistance until the end this is a little bit different to the one that I've seen vacuum mad 8 unbox on his channel I think it was probably the same color as this 
but when it was opened it revealed quite a lot of dirt. This one should not reveal any dirt. Pop it down there. Ooh, it's a little bit, yes it's a ribbed, it's a ribbed flex. They've put on a plug. Not obviously not authentic. If I can source a UK made plug of this period, you know, it doesn't matter, does it? I suppose I'm not that uh, fussed. Oh, hang on. Is that no, it's not an MK, surely. It's probably made in China. Anyway, it's it's been fitted with a plug and it's even got the how to wire a plug leaflet thing, little swing thing that you always used to find on appliances back in the day before fitted plugs were made legal requirement. And look under there. No surprises, no spiders. Lovely jubbly. I always knew I'd get um, a celebrity. Never thought I'd have an unused one, but then again, I never thought I'd get an unused junior or an unused constellation, but persistence and frequent searching of the internet. And in the case of the constellation, a Facebook friend pointed me in the direction of that. So there we go, folks. The flying saucer cleaner, really, isn't it? Just needs a wipe. This molding here, this all round furniture guard needs a bit of cream cleaner and a bit of car polish on the top and it will look lovely jubbly, I feel. Quite a short flex on this. Let's have a look at the underside. This is the first thing. Wow. This is the first thing that obviously gets scratched up on a constellation or a celebrity. There, that's the blower outlet. So you can connect the hose to that, but that also is, is what forms the lift of the machine. Right, let's have a look at this circular rating sticker. So it's Hoover Cleaner model S3005003, 240 volts, 40, 60 hertz, 900 watts. And the serial is S3005411284444. Trademarks of Hoover Limited made in the USA by the Hoover Company. I did originally have a celebrity in my collection in the late 80s, early 90s. I got for my Auntie Mary and uh, the bearings had gone and I think there was something wrong with the handle. But back in those days, you could actually buy handles for this from Hoover and the motor bearings. So I fixed it up and got it working, but it got sold. I don't know who I sold it to, but you know, that's another vacuum I regret selling. But fortunately, I've been rewarded with a new one. Let's have a look inside, shall we? So yes, it's all metal, metal top, metal base. Very robust vacuum. There's a little metal clip here, which opens the top of the unit to access the bag. And again, a metal hinge. It says here, if mains cord requires replacement, consult your authorized Hoover dealer. Now that I daren't touch but I'm going to have to, that will probably disintegrate this type. You see, if I don't take it off before, turn, yeah, I can already feel it's going to fall to bits. If I don't take it off before I switch the machine on, it's just going to suck it right through into the motor. I can guarantee it. This, this stuff does not last. Not all these years anyway. Yeah, that's a little bit loose. The bags I, I have sourced, the genuine, you see that's, that's gone a bit funny. Um, the bags I've sourced do fit a bit tighter on here. I did get some non-genuine celebrity bags from eBay. They're fairly easy to get hold of, but they were just, they didn't fit properly. They were absolute rubbish. I had to chuck them. Let's I'll just search inside. Can't see any hint of dirt. So that, my friends, is what? An unused 1970 something Hoover celebrity looks like inside but these when you know people who've refurbished them you'll you'll see if you've watched the videos that the inside of the vacuum like this does stay looking new more or less and after a bit of a polish and a clean 
they do look like this. It's only the outside, of course, it takes a battering. You've got this, this is the motor, that's all it is. Pretty simple vacuum, and here we've got the little switch, which I hope that type of switch is prone to failing. It's a similar switch to um, the Constellation, but that one seems okay. It was, oh, hang on. That should be all right. That's what I had to replace on my Constellation video, if you've, any of you have seen that one. It was a switch just like that. So you've got the motor under here, you've also got a piece of plastic, so if anyone is ever refurbishing one of these, you must make sure that the piece of plastic that separates the motor and the metal base of this machine is intact, because that forms part of the insulation. And it does say here, printed, use only genuine Hoover brand throw away filter bags. Right, I'm going to have to do it. It seems a shame, but this, I, I think it's just going to fall to bits. Oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> that is extremely, extremely fragile. As I said, if I was to switch that on, look, look I mean, I've already put my finger through it. It is that delicate now. But I can get something similar. I think I've used something from an aquarium filter before. It's a very coarse filter. Obviously no HEPA filtration back in the 70s and people didn't know it's just, it's just crumbling to dust as we all, we all return to dust, don't we? And that is especially true for the filter of one of these. Also, um, yeah, if Sam Watson's watching, he probably will be. Um, this is a sort of filter, Sam, that you would have had on that Hoover convertible of yours. Behind that grill that you fixed up, it would have had a filter of this type. So you, to make it authentic, you, you won't get an original, obviously, but as I said, you've got an aquarium, I think. I've heard it bubbling away. So it, these aquarium type filters are okay. You can just cut it to fit and I'll do that. But no, that, that is absolutely, it's just falling to bits. And I knew it would, I was surprised it was still intact. So I'm just going to get a little vacuum, actually, to remove this off here before I actually turn it on for you. Right, I'll just pop the bag back in. Obviously, I'm not going to use this now. I probably will, though. I probably will use it. Look, I'm, I'm never going to sell cleaners like this. Well, not for... I don't expect I will. You know, there'll be a lot more cleaners that will go before this, if I ever start, start selling. So, what is the point in just keeping them completely unused? There are some that I'm not using, but they probably will get used eventually. This is certainly being, going to be turned on anyway. So that's the bag. It's, yeah, it's looking a little bit grubby, but as I said, I'll probably polish it up before the final shots. Okay, I can't remember with these if up is down, is up is off or down is on or whatever. I think down is on. So I'll risk it. I'm going to put it in the up position. Now I'm assuming it has been turned on. They have checked it because they've put a plug on. So I'm going to plug in and hopefully, well if it turns on, it turns on. It turned on, didn't it folks? I had a feeling it would. Sounds all right though, and it's certainly floated well. Of course it will float better, um, obviously with an empty bag and the fact there's no hose, there's no obstruction to the airflow. Noisier than a Constellation, these. But with a 900 watt motor, I think they have a bit more suction. Let's line up the... 
There's no arrow on that one. It used to be an arrow, I'm sure. So this is the non-stretch hose, because the constellations we had in the UK had the double stretch hose. This is a bit awkward for stair cleaning, but in the instruction book it does show you how you can balance it on a stair. Not that I would ever risk it, but you could carry it. It's not it is a it's a fair weight being all metal, but you could carry it with one hand while um directing the nozzle. Let's uh, let's see how powerful a 900 watt motor is from the 70s. <laughs> actually lift the carpet a bit <sighs> wow okay folks that's about it I'm really pleased I'm just gonna give her a bit of a polish up I'm not going to go into too much uh, cleaning with this the ho all the hose needs a good clean and everything just gonna polish the main unit and uh, for now we'll say goodbye to this lovely Hoover Celebrity S3005 well, that's about the end of the unboxing and first look at this vintage but new Hoover Celebrity Air Ride vacuum cleaner. I'm really chuffed to bits with this one. I'm so glad to have a celebrity in my collection. I will be showing this in action. I won't be putting down loads and loads of dirt, but it would be a shame not to show this old girl doing what it was made to do. So I'll be doing a demo of it at some point. Just need to get some more bags and a replacement motor filter. If you have any questions about this vacuum cleaner, please ask in the comments section below. Don't forget to subscribe, thumb up, and tune in for the next video coming very soon. So until the next time, thanks for watching, and it's goodbye.